Alright, hello Riven mains and Yasuo mains alike. I am the Nightwing, coming at you guys with another League of Legends video from Way of Life Esports. I'm really, 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 really trying to get an intro down pat for you guys where I kind of just remember it all at once. I think maybe next year I might switch it up. I don't know, but we've had the gauntlet matches kick off with Origin versus Splice. Uh, Splice managed to actually outlast Origin. Uh, it went to five games. Uh, very, very back and forth games. You have it where it's, I said that, you know, Origin were going to have problems because of bringing in a brand new jungler. It's not because I was comparing them to TSM. What I was saying, it's the same situation, but this wasn't because, you know, obviously they weren't cucking their jungler. It was just more or less so on the, along the line of this guy has never played in a compet in an actual competitive best of five with players that are literally 10 times better than him and to expect him to actually you know outperform and be consistent in every single game was too much and actually he played relatively well well he was in his name was Zanzara right Zanzara he played pretty well I liked a lot of the things he did it was just Origin just kind of look, looked like they were just checked out of league at this point. They just overall just look like they just didn't care. You know, like in their performances, it looked some of them looked good. Uh, it really uh, stood the test of time that Splice uh, went back and forth with them. Origin won the first game. Splice win the other two. And then Origin uh, put on a pretty good performance with the Zaya and the, you know, Patrick Zaya put on an impressive performance. I thought Mithy played pretty well. Nuke Duck and his Zed in game five. See, I don't really understand why you would go with the Zed pick in game five. It makes sense if you're actually going to do something in the early game, but in the early game, Origin didn't show anything to really fully, you know, th thrust the Zed pick onto the Rift to the point where I don't think that it was the right pick for what they initially were planning on going for with their draft. It, it really doesn't make any sense because if you factor in the Zed pick in Game 5 for Origin, he did get a solo kill. I mean, he did generate a pretty decently large lead. It was just that they didn't really do anything with it. He should have been uh, more or less so, you know, side lane pushing, uh, getting a lot more uh, pressure on around the map. He should have been trying to pick off people or at least at the worst chunk somebody out. I didn't really... <clears throat> I didn't really see that a lot from him. What I more or less saw from Origin was that if they lost a game, they became passive. And then when they lost that other game two to Splice, they became super passive. And it just really kind of sucks that Origin fell this way. It's They, they just became a team that everybody basically thought they were going to be. Remember, people literally crucified me that I had Origin worse than Fnatic like I was like come on guys lose your brains here Fnatic really choked against them in that semi-final match and and looking at how both teams panned out by just even roster alone you know that Fnatic are the stronger team I think people just had way too much recency biased obviously that gave Origin a lot of leeway they never really fixed any issues it was just more or less so all the is issues that they had before going to Rift Rivals which is why I had them as the worst team because they did not look good but NA just looked that much much worse so origin obviously didn't get exposed so it, it doesn't really matter and then once rift rivals was over and they came back and faced better teams they got absolutely destroyed so badly to the point they didn't even make playoffs and they had and this was their last chance of getting to worlds and they failed and it really sucks because i really wanted to see nuke duck at world i really really did I, I really think he's a really good player and it just sucks that he can't go just like the next person i'm going to talk about is upset leading into the next into the next games shock uh and Splice played today. Uh, obviously, Splice are going in as massive underdogs. Even I'm not. Oh, hey, I'll eat crow right now. I was wrong. I thought that. Hey, Shocker, we're gonna you know buckle down and beat Splice 3-0. Or, or I predicted 3-1 because I knew Splice would get a game. I knew they get a game, but uh, didn't happen that way. The reverse happened. Splice ended up 3-0ing uh, Shocker. Everything collapse for sh it, it was really hard because trick and ignar were playing really trick ignar and upset were playing pretty well old Wamne was a non-factor and abadage their mid laner was a non-factor in every single game the problem with chalka is that upset j just can't carry well, okay so minus trick and ignar upset can't carry can't carry two wards he's basically carrying two bags of weight and trick 
is on junglers that really can't capitalize off any advantage. And then you're having Ignar and Upset who are playing really well. But if Kabe and Norskaren are so, you know, consistent in their lane that their overwhelming pressure is not going to overwhelm Kabe and Niski to the point where it's going to take over the game. I believe Upset can take over games and so can Ignar. But it just won't happen against consistent players because people who are better than certain players can beat those players. But if you have good players enough to the point where, like, you know, it's a wall, like, you just can't overcome them based on the fact that they're, or they, they're so good at what they're doing that it just makes you kind of irrelevant. That's what kind of makes it super hard for uh, certain teams to actually do well. And looking at Schalke and just looking at how just dismantled they got, they let the GP go constantly. They let the Aatrox go constantly. Like, what are you doing? I, I feel like Schalke just mentally exploded. It's just the same thing happened last year. They lost to Fnatic in a final-esque type scenario. This this uh, season was different because they lost in the semifinals rather than the finals. Overall, same scenario pretty much. They lose to Fnatic, then they lose in the gauntlet. This time, they didn't even have to face the best teams like Fnatic and G2 in the gauntlet. They literally were facing worse. Schalke theoretically should have been the third team going to Worlds. But they're just chokers, and that it is what it is at the end of the day. And Splice move on to face Fnatic. And now it's time to preview Fnatic versus Splice. All right, so I've been burned before, but I think that Fnatic are going to beat them so hard, it is going to make them want to be a play-ins team. Man, I'm talking trash right now, but obvious uh, G2 fan here, uh, so I can get to do that. Um, no, I'm, I'm, okay, start, sorry, I'm joking, I'm joking, okay. Uh, I'm really not joking, honestly, like, what is there to say? You think that Fnatic... If anybody predicts Splice to beat Fnatic, you're insane. Like, okay, if you pan out to, if you pan out to be right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you credit. Hey, hey, you called it. It's whatever. But you can't tell me that Fnatic are going are gonna to lose to these guys after the insane series they've had against G2 and Fnatic. There's no way. And I think it's more beneficial if they actually did go to play-ins. Because remember, Splice always talk about, you know, the confidence and we need confidence. We need warm-up games. If you need confidence in warm-up games, you need the play-in stage because you don't want to be... So, there, so let's theoretically, hypothetically say... They're going to be a third seed, which they probably are. That means they're going to have a really hard group. That means they could have a group of, like, a freaking Griffin. And they could have a, 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 a FPX. Not not, not Griffin. It could, yeah, you could have Griffin and FPX in your group. You could literally have those two in your group. And if they don't get warm-ups and confidence, like they literally said in interviews in front of the whole entire world, then how are you going to win games? Because I feel like if you don't get confidence or warm-ups like you want you're probably going to go 0-6. You're probably going to win all of your playing. They're better than all the playing teams. Like, the, the well, in their in whatever group they get, they're going to be better than those playing teams. The issue is, how can they handle Fnatic? And they really didn't handle Fnatic during the split. They beat Fnatic, and, and Fnatic beat... They, they went 1-1 one one with Fnatic, but after just recent games and how Fnatic have improved and how they've, you know, floundered out of playoffs... It's like, how can I accurately say that Splice are going to beat them? Splice only have one thing going for them right now, and that's momentum. They beat Origin, they beat Schalke, and they're going in as the underdogs uh, against Fnatic. I feel like if they lose to Fnatic, their confidence is going to shatter, but it won't matter because it's at the end of the, you know, it's over, LEC is over uh, after, t after uh, you know, tomorrow. I feel like Fnatic are easily going to win 3-0. Three, three uh, Nemesis is... Just, just that much better than Humanoid. You know, Bwipo and Vizichachi doesn't matter because Bwipo, even though he might into game, it doesn't matter. Vizichachi won't punish him. You have the Broxa and Xerxes is Broxa's a little bit better. And th this is the thing, those Fnatic just have the little bit better players and that makes the difference. Having that little bit of edge, even though you're not even the same team, is giving the edge to Fnatic. And that's not being a, that's not even close to being a fanboy. That is just the facts and i just can't do it so yeah it's kind of the, the shortest preview for a game it's like i fanatic 3-0 like the, i there's nothing else i'm gonna say i think fanatic can beat them in a game and i wouldn't be surprised if splice brought them to three games uh, no sorry i wouldn't be sorry if splice brought this to five games because of their newfound confidence and their way of getting their selves to play back on stage the issue is fanatic just have the better players and sometimes you might be good and consistent but if this other team just has the better players, it always goes to the better players. And that's how history's always set itself. But that's how 
I see it. I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing. Way of Life Esports is signing out, and it's been a pleasure watching the LEC. I'll, uh, you know, obviously talk about the games tomorrow. But yeah, Splice uh, versus Fnatic, Gauntlet to end it to see who's going to be the first or second seed. Not second or third seed. Uh, I never thought I'd be saying that. So yeah, peace out. Bye. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Hi, you guys! Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>